So, as we're well into spring, what better way than preparing your outdoor living space than cleaning your patio? So today, on Fix It With Fowler, I'm going to show you three different ways of cleaning your patio. So first we're going to start with a standard pressure washer, next we're going to use the pressure washer with a specific patio cleaner attachment and finally we're going to use Amazon's top selling patio cleaner, in this case it's Patio Magic. So as you can see this patio is really filthy. So what we're going to do, we've selected three different slabs which are all about as bad as each other they're spaced apart so that when we clean one slab we're not going to contaminate another. So we're going to do the three independent tests and then we can review them after. So for the first two tests we're going to use this Karcher K2 pressure washer. Now I've actually had this for quite a while, really good bit of kit. Everything that I'm going to be doing in this video there will be links in the description if you want to buy any of these products. So this Karcher K2 pressure washer comes with two lances, a variable power lance and a dirt blaster. For this one we're going to be using this dirt blaster lance which is specifically designed for cleaning patios. A top tip for you here, if you're going to be using a jet wash, always plug the water in first and ensure water is running through your jet wash before you plug it in and turn it on. Now if you don't do that you've got a chance of running this motor dry which actually will damage it and could potentially burn the motor out so always make sure that you plug the hose in turn the water on and ensure water is coming through the lance before you plug it in test number one the Karcher K2 pressure washer with the dirt blaster lance As you can see that's brought that particular slab up really really well minimal effort and didn't take very long at all so that's the first test done so on to the next test number two the t150 karcher patio cleaner so all you do with this is you can attach it directly to the handle or you can have an extension piece it just clips into place like that now underneath you can see that it's got two nozzles when you squeeze the trigger they propel round and the high pressure jets should then clean the patio. So let's give it a try. As you've seen using the T150 attachment, actually it's a lot quicker to clean the patio. However, I don't think the end result with these black marks is actually as effective. Um, like I said, although it's quicker, it's definitely not as good as if we go back over to this one, there's no black marks left on this slab. So I do think in this case that up to now, the Dirt Blaster Lance is the best option. So if you're finding this video helpful up to now, then please don't forget, hit that like button, leave me a comment, and the most important thing, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. For the final test, we're going to use this Patio Magic, which is available on Amazon. Like I said before, the link is in the description. So we're going to mix this and apply it just to this slab. 
So if you was going to do a large area, you might mix it and apply it in a watering can or something like one of these spray bottles. But because we're doing a specific slab and we don't want to contaminate any other areas, I'm going to mix it in this jug and then I'm going to apply it with a paintbrush. That way we can ensure that we only cover this area. So according to the product, it says, destroys mold, algae and lichens on all kinds of hard surfaces, including brick paving, patio, glass, perspex, garden furniture, walls, paved areas and driveways. So in this particular instance, this product is ideal. So for this, we're going to be mixing it one part chemical to four parts water. It does give you details of different strengths to mix depending on what you're going to use it for. That's the slab all treated as per the instructions. The only thing we need to do now is leave this slab for two to four days to give the bio side a chance to work and actually clean the slab. So we'll come back and revisit this in about four days and we'll actually compare all three and see which is the best. So a few things actually that you need to consider with this biocider as in any biocide if you get this product on any neighboring plants or your grass you need to thoroughly wash it with water to remove the biocide otherwise it's going to cause harm to them the second thing and probably the most important thing if you've got pets you need to keep them away from the area until the product is thoroughly dry that normally takes five to six hours so in our case we're just going to keep our dog out of the way Okay, so here we are four days later, and let's review which we think is the best. So, unfortunately, in last place, we've got the Patio Magic. Now, we didn't do anything other than paint the chemical on the slab. And as you can see, it has sort of cleaned it, but I think if we had a build-up of algae or moss, then it'd be a different story. And I think this product is ideal for that. But for this instance, for this patio, that's not done very well. So, second place is the cleaner. So, we've used this, and as you can see, it's brought this slab up pretty well, to be fair. Got rid of most of the dirt. However, some of the dirt that's still ingrained has not come off. So, there's pros and cons of using this, and the pros is there's a lot less mess. Because it directs the water jets directly down, where you don't get so much spray. So, depending on where you're working, this might be the ideal solution. But, if you want your patio sparkling clean, then my advice is to get yourself a cartridge jet wash and a dirt blaster light. Now, this particular slab has come up really, really well. There's no, come out, there's, there's no dirt left on the, on the actual slab itself. It's really clean. And now all I've got to do is the rest of the patio.